Snap. Today is our focus on Snapchat on Strategy Simplified. Snapchat is a really interesting company because it's been debated largely whether it's a company or a feature, whether it's an opportunity for other organizations to figure out how they do things and just incorporate them onto their platforms or something else. And so today we're going to pull apart Strategy Simplified for Snap. I'm Jenny Ray LaRue, the Managing Director of Management Consulted, and I'm an ex bain consultant. One of my favorite things to do is take a look at companies. And so Snapchat, which really rose up on the scene in the mid-2015 era, uh, we can see some major growth from when they've reported earnings. So if we take a look at their financial statement, their 10K, uh, which is linked in the show notes, I'm on page 39 uh, on page of the 10K. And one of the things that we see is that they went from about 59 million in revenue in 2015 to 1.7 billion in revenue in 2019. Um, now the revenue growth slowed a little bit from 2017 to 2018, but Snap picked it up again, 2018 to 2019. So that's a really good news for an org because that was one of the questions about Snap was if they could sustain revenue growth. However, one of the things that we also see is that they have major expenses on the building side. Um, one of the things that I really want you to note, however, is that even though the expenses have increased, they say that they have higher cost of revenue. If their revenue increased by about 40% from 2018 to 2019, and their cost of revenue only increased by let's say under 10%, then one of those big gaps there points to the fact that this is a fixed cost business. So we don't have a lot of information about what they're including in the cost of revenue, but we do see that their other costs are research and development, that's a fixed cost, sales and marketing, that's a fixed cost, and general administrative, that's a fixed cost. So um, no matter what, even if they um, weren't operating at such a loss, their portion of costs that they are using on fixed cost expenses make this for sure a fixed cost business. How does Snap generate revenue? Snap generates revenue through ads and they purchase the ads or they sell the ads based on their average number of daily users, they, their ADUs. So a couple of key metrics for Snap include their revenue, the ADUs, the active daily users, and of course their total pricing, which gets us to the revenue line and then the cost. Again, what we've seen is that we've seen an increase in advertising on the platform. That's great. However, we've seen a commensurate increase in cost. Snap at some point is going to need to make sure that it is able to scale back that cost once it generates a significant enough amount of revenue. Challenges for Snap include the fact that it could be considered a feature and organizations like Facebook have definitely taken some of Snap's game and changed the Facebook platform to include more stories. Instagram stories also have Snapchat like features. And so some of the larger platforms that have more active daily users that also compete for that same ad revenue um, might find that Snap ultimately becomes an obsolete uh, play in the space. So Snap has two major challenges. They have to make sure that they're increasing their average daily users to continue to drive sales of ad revenue. And then they need to, at some point fairly soon, work on diminishing the cost that it's taking to get them there. If you're interested in more companies just like this, make sure that you join us for Strategy Simplified in the future. We have episodes that are roll out on a weekly basis and we love to have you join us. You can do that by either grabbing a review and or subscribing to the channel or you can just check back on a weekly basis. In addition, if you have questions about consulting or business strategy, reach out to us, managementconsulted.com.